welcome to today's video and I'm very excited because I've actually got to the Lake District when it's not raining. Now I've arrived a little bit late. I finish work probably two or three hours later than I normally do. So the nearest flag that I have on my map to go to for a bit of photography is Home Fell and that's where I've come to now. So we've got a few hours of sunlight left so I'm hoping we might get a sunset. Oh it's gonna be good. So if you'd like to hang around for the next 10-15 minutes maybe a bit longer and uh, hopefully we'll get some images like this. Okay, so before I drag my girth up to the top there, I've just taken the time out just to take a, a quick panorama of this um, uh, tarn. Now, <clears throat> if you're like me, you follow a lot of photographers. Now, just lately there's been a spate of photography going on in this area, and quite rightly so, because it's absolutely wonderful. No matter which way you look, there's an interest in tree, there's interest in shapes, there's interest in textures. And it's been photographed to death, but like I say, quite rightly so, it's absolutely beautiful. So hopefully we'll try and get something that nobody else has got. But that's why I've started off with a, a panorama. I've just found, took myself in uh, this shaded area here overlooking the tarn and with the uh, hills in the background. And uh, we've got this small pine in the left-hand side, which is uh, in the shadow of its brothers and sisters as the sun's going down over to my uh, left. That's in the shadow. But I'm gonna contrast that with a dead tree that's sticking up and the contrast between the shadow and sort of the live tree and the brightness of the dead tree. It's kind of um, juxtaposed to each other, I think. I don't know, I might be reading too much into that, but it looks quite cool anyway. Um, so what I've done is uh, I've put the um, polarizer on as well, just to try and cut some of the reflection out. Um, but because it's a variable, N a variable ND filter as well, um, I've just tried to lengthen the shutter speed just to take out some of the ripples and the tarn and hopefully try and get some sort of mirror-like finish so that we get a, a reflection of the trees on the opposite side of the tarn. Now, because I'm a complete jackass, <coughs> I've lost my glasses on the way. I don't know where they are. So I'm kind of relying on um, what I know of the f-stop and the histogram to try and make sure I get the, um, uh, try and get the, the picture sort of at least composed properly. And then I'll try and worry about whether it's focused or not when I get back. Uh, I'm hoping it's focused. Um, we shall see. I shall put them up for you now. going to put the 100 to 400 on and I'm just again while I'm sat here just well just before I start packing away because I can see a nice little shot over there actually but before I pack away I'm just going to pick out a couple of little intimate scenes with the 100 to 400 mil lens and uh, just try and pick up some of these but I've just got to be aware that I've got a bit of a trek in front of me um, and I'd like to get to the highland uh, high ground before uh, before the sunset so hopefully there's a few clouds around hopefully we might get Bit of a sunset, so uh, whether I go to the high ground up there or up here, I'm not quite sure. So we'll see where we go. I don't know. Okay, well, I know sunshine is usually our worst nightmare uh, where it's bright and all the rest of it, but I don't know, it's, it's, it's fantastic it, what it's doing at the moment. It's backlighting all the trees and to, to, to kind of put the big lens on, zoom right in, cut everything else out, and purposefully underexpose it so that the, the background goes very dark against the brightness of the leaves. They're very, very vibrant of this new sort of spring growth. So I'm just gonna snap off a few sort of, I don't know, could be abstract, I don't know what they were. You might think I'm talking rubbish, maybe. But I don't know, it just looks really nice on the back of the viewfinder. So I'll pop those up for you now and let me know what you think in the comments.
so what I've done, well, what I'm doing now is uh, I've taken the 100 to 400 off and uh, I've put the 24 mil on. Now obviously that opens everything wide open now. Um, and so you don't get the intimacy that you, the 100 to 400 um, provides. But so I'm just looking around to find something to fill the frame with because I still want to make use of these backlit leaves because they look, they look stunning. Uh, so I've got this little bluff of rocks to the right hand side of the image, which I'm going to include in the foreground. Uh, focusing on that with a focus stack, just to keep that nice and sharp. Focus on the mid ground and then focus on the trees at the back. And I think what I'll probably end up doing is just dropping the, the background color a little bit in post just to make those um, backlit leaves pop because they look absolutely stunning. So that might be the word of the day, stunning. So I'm gonna take this image now and uh, I'll pop that up for you now. Okay, so what I'm just doing now, the sun is just above the horizon, um, just over to my left there. And it's where the uh, landscape is just kind of bellied out there. It's just, the sun's just catching the tops of the silver birches down there. So I'm just frantically swapping lenses backwards and forwards just to try and get, um, just pick out the little bits and pieces as the scene changes, it's changing by the minute. But um, the, the, the contrast is just fantastic for, from those trees that are uh, actually in the, the light and fully lit to just the, the tops of the other trees just being uh, caught by the sun. Uh, it's, uh, it's absolutely wonderful. So I think I've got probably about five minutes to get a few more shots. That's just, I don't know if you can see that in the background. But anyway, uh, I'm going to carry on taking a few more shots here and... Um, I'll see if there's anything we can do as the sun goes down because obviously at the moment it's just so bright just there. Um, everything on that side is just darkness. So um, who knows, just the, the, the light's just changing so quick. So what I'm trying to do here, um, obviously with the 100 to 400, it's uh, obviously a lot more uh, prominent in the screen. And if we get the focus back, there we go, is we've got this little tiny tree just in the middle here. And I'm just trying to frame it with this V of the pattern in the and the texture in the ground just there. So uh, the way the the tops of the trees are just being caught by the sun, it just absolutely looks otherworldly. So I'll pop that one up for you now, and uh, I'm going to carry on taking a few panoramas, uh, panoramics, panoramas, yeah, and uh, see how those come out. And uh, I'll pop those up. As well.
look, can you just see that little blaze of colour and all that blue? I've got to set myself up for that one. Oh my goodness. All that blue colour and everything kicking off there. Let's frame that. Should we put that right slap bang in the middle? Yeah, we'll do that. That blaze of colour, slap bang in the middle. Two second timer. That's a grab shot. Let's see if we can do something with the sky. See, there's, there's nothing in this part of the sky here. But yeah, if we just cut that, there's like a V where the clouds are coming in, like this. And it's uh, whoa, I've got one last little bit. Come on. And it looks like in the distance there, I expect you can see that, where it's all coming in over the top of the uh, hills there. There's uh, a lot of uh, a lot of cloud blowing up there. So I'm just wondering if we might be in for a bit of rain later on. Well, thank you for joining me uh, on this one. And um, I'm just gonna hang around for another 10 minutes to see if anything else happens. But um, I'll, uh, I'm gonna start packing up and uh, I've got, I think it's about 45 minute walk back to the van. Um, if you'd like to leave a like and subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Any comments are much appreciated. And uh, all the images are in the gallery coming up next and all the setting details and all those sorts of things will be uh, up with the images. So yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.